Today I'm going to teach you about analog to digital conversion. You will be reading the value from the potentiometer and displaying it on the LEDs. So as we turn the potentiometer, the LEDs turn on and off respectively for the value of the voltage. Let's go ahead and analyze the schematic, the data sheet, and then write the code. In the schematic, we see that we have the potentiometer RP1 connected to pin RA0 of the chip. Also notice that RA0 is the analog channel 0, so keep that in mind. And of course, the LEDs are on port C, starting from RC0 to RC3. Let's now analyze the data sheet. There are two registers that we have to configure for the analog to digital conversion. They are the ADCON 0 and ADCON 1. Both registers have 8 bits. Let's look at the, re at the uh, bits for ADCON 0. So bit 0, we can choose 0 or 1. 1 turns on the A to D converter, so we're going to have it set for 1. Bit 1 starts the conversion. Initially, we don't want to start the conversion. So this one will be 0 in the beginning. The next 4 bits are used to tell the chip which channel we want to use. Remember that I told you that the potentiometer was in channel A and 0. If you don't remember, look at the schematic again. The pod is connected to RA0, that's analog channel 0. The next bit, bit 6, is the reference voltage bit. So we can choose between the voltage provided by the power supply, which is BDD. So that will be a 0. Or if we have a reference voltage coming from somewhere else, then we will select one. The last bit tells us the justification of the conversion. What that means is that basically since we have 10 bits, because this is a 10 bit analog to digital converter, and we have 16 bits to put them, we have to either justify them to the left or justify them to the right. Let me show you a graphical representation of that. So if we choose to justify to the left, the eight most significant bits are gonna be stored in address H. The least two significant bits will be stored in address L and they will be the two most significant bits of this variable. If we select right justification instead, then what we have is at least eight significant bits stored in address L. L is for low, H is for high, and we have the two most significant bits stored in address H and they are the two least significant bits of that address. So now that we know how to configure ADCON0, let's go ahead and take a look at ADCON1. So ADCON1 is used for the oscillator of the converter. We're gonna use this oscillator so we're gonna leave it at 1, 1, 1. The X here can be either 0 or 1. It doesn't matter. And notice that those are bits 4 to 6. The first 4 bits are unimplemented. So we're gonna give them a value of 0. The last bit is also unimplemented. And we'll also give it a value of 0. 
Now that we have analyzed the schematic in the data sheet, let's go ahead and write the code. So I have included my pig file, I have started my main function, I have configured my oscillator. I'm going to turn off the lights initially. And I'm going to set the direction of the port to output. For port A, that's the port where we have the potentiometer. I'm going to select that port to be input all of the pins. Now we don't need to make all of the pins inputs. We just have to make the zero bit input. But just because it's shorter to make them all input, I'm making them all input. This is where we configure the registers. So the add con register, like I said initially, we want to turn on the oscillator. And these are all the values we selected from the data sheet. Add con 1 is where we configure the clock for the converter. Remember we selected 111 for this one. Now inside of the infinite while loop is where we do the conversion. So just like the data sheet says, setting the go done bit starts the conversion. So we're going to start the conversion from analog to digital. And once again, just like the data sheet says, this bit automatically changes from 1 to 0 when the conversion has completed. So when go down changes to 0, the conversion has completed and this is just a loop that ends in the same line. So the next line is not part of the loop because of this semicolon here. And lastly, we assign the bits of the conversion to port C. Now notice here that I have shifted the bits from address A from address H four times to the right. The reason for that is simply visual. I'm gonna encourage you to go ahead and just change the value so that you can see what I mean. What I wanted to do was display the most significant bits from the conversion on the LEDs so that they don't change as fast and you are able to see how as we change the potentiometer the LEDs increase and decrease in the value that they represent. So this is the whole code you need. Go ahead and upload it to your chip and you should be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you for watching.